Good point from Sabalenka. You asked about game plan against Sabalenka and she shows right away why it is so hard to pull through with a game plan because the game plan against her would be to play fast away from her, have her run longer distances so she can do what she just did in that point before where she has the time to set up for her shot and move her entire body weight through it and then so much power comes your way that it's really hard to control the next ball for the opponent. So Sabalenka comes through the opening game. Nice settler into this second round. There's a little look at the, the service motion from Arena Sabalenka. It's a really interesting interview actually on, uh, on YouTube that uh, her biomechanics coach, Gavin McMillan, did and just explaining it was completely mechanical, just dropping that left arm too quickly. There wasn't enough upward motion. They just completely rehashed the service motion. And certainly on the, the most part, it seems to have reaped rewards this year. Sabalenka, amazing court coverage. Fantastic foot speed from Sabalenka. I Love. think that she has improved so much over the off season last year when she came to Australia. Just was so much better on the defensive positions. So much quicker, better court coverage. got her her maiden grand slam title but really nice forehand here from Jody 
does not look too intimidated out here in the beginning stages. Remember your first match out on either Armstrong or Ash, Andrea? Is it just so enormous? Can it be a little intimidating? Well, I was lucky that I played a good season before I got to the big court. So I had played a few big courts mm. before, but it is huge. <laughs> just the dimensions of it, it changes up the visuals of your, of your game, even though the, the blue tennis score where you have to hit the ball is exactly the same. It still messes up your visuals a bit. from Sabalenka driving forward. There's been quite a few players, haven't there, this year already complaining that they don't have enough time in between points to go all the way over to get their towels come back in the 25 seconds allowed. Well, I talked to a few from the ball crew and asked them if they minded that. And they said, depends on the player. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> I couldn't get out of them which players they meant. Yeah, it's a shame. Too professional. <laughs> so early break point opportunity here for the number two seed. There is uh, Anton Dubrov there on the left-hand side, Arena Sabalenka's coach. So first double for Jody Burridge. Only made one first serve in that game, and you're going to get punished, I'm afraid, against someone who returns as well as Arena Sabalenka. And just the, the pressure Arena Sabalenka puts on you with her return and her positioning on top of the baseline closes down the space, and you just feel like you have to do a bit more on your second serve. And this is the danger when you, and this is so tricky for these players who are on these courts for the first time. You cannot let them lead this quickly, the Sabalenkas, the Rybakinas, the top players, because then they swing even freer and they play even better and it's so much harder to get back into the match. Back semi finals here at the US Open for Arena Sabalenka last year. Lost to Iga Sviantek from a set in front as well. Took the first set 6 3. In 2021 also made the semis, losing to Leila Fernandez. say I love the technique of Burridge's backhand. She rotates her entire upper body and you can almost see the back of her body when she hits that backhand and creates really nice way. And the, lo the longer the way, it's physics, the longer the way, the bigger the power and the bigger the acceleration. Really nice technique on that shot here.
too good. Sabalenka knew that she was done for as soon as Burridge hit it. He even gave her a little round of applause as well. Thank you. Yeah, nice overview. She saw Sabalenka closing the net down. And the only open space was the lob. And beautiful execution too. She's not hanging around Irina Sabalenka, just 11 minutes played so far, and she has raced into a three-love lead. Pretty uh, comfortable viewing for them. Beat Katie McNally, first round of Wimbledon earlier this year. Oh. Yeah, the first serve helps. Had only 17% of first serves in the first game, and a nice little laugh. She knows that first serve will help her working with Craig Veal for a number of years now as Jody. <laughs> Suffered terribly with injuries in the early stage of her career, as you alluded to earlier, Andrea. And yeah, it has just taken her a little bit more time. She actually very nearly quit tennis. She was suffering so badly. perspective she's had three ankle surgeries a fractured knee a stress fracture in her arm a stress fracture in her rib she said she could keep on going as well she's only listed that but yeah that just kind of sums up just how difficult it has been in the early stages of her career but that's a nice confidence boosting hold for her and remember you can uh, download the US Open app to follow your favourite players, track the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news and more. It's available in both the App Store and the Google Play Store as well. to beat somebody like Sabalenka Adam either you match her in a power the players she tends to lose to are somebody like Samsonova who she has a losing head-to-head -to, -head to or Rybakina or you're able to do something different like Muchova who changes us up with the slice the slice bothering Sabalenka on the forehand side sometimes but for the first stage it's really important for Baric to just get used to that power that is coming her way get used to the pace oh, 
Just on return from Jody Burridge. Really beautiful backhand, so clean. Simple, nice technique. We see it here, how much she turns her shoulders before she hits the ball. Great timing. Just looks effortless. Really nice ground stroke on that side. Just relentless, it's huge hitting. Norwich just struggling to contain Sabalenka right now. Playing so much better Sabalenka than the early stage of her first round match against Marina Zanevska. Really struggled the first kind of six games or so. Took her a little while just to find her rhythm. We wish uh, Marina Zanevska a happy retirement as well. That was her last match in her career. Yeah. Well, another pretty straightforward hold. Burridge not happy that she missed that backhand, her favourite stroke. points today that she's been able to get that big first strike in Jody Burridge it's been working a lot on her serve in recent months as Burridge alongside her coach Craig Veal just trying to get a little bit more out of it Still only 24 years of age, Jody Burridge, so plenty of time on her side. She has uh, tried to qualify here the last couple of years. Just to Katie McNally in the first round of qualies last year. And Sabalenka really cannot afford to Drop anything short towards Burridge's backhand when she has time on that shot. Just can take charge and Arena does not like to be out of control in the rally. She wants to control, she wants to dominate and she does well most of the time. She gets that awkward time of day, isn't it, where the shadow is beginning to encroach onto the court. Nice hold to love for Jodie Burridge. Still hasn't dropped a point when she's landed her first serve. So that's a good sign, six out of six. That first serve percentage is just slowly increasing. Yeah, been working a lot on her serve, been walk working a lot on her mentality as well. Andrea mentioned it earlier that she could get <laughs> a little negative at times. Certainly something that she's been trying to improve. It does work on and off with a, a sports psychologist, not religiously like uh, a lot of the players do these days. Wow. 
that is a beautiful second serve. And mentality and fitness are the two things you can control in every match. You can be as fit as you can be, and you can have your mentality under control as much as you possibly can. Everything else is also up to the opponent, unfortunately, in tennis. I like that backhand to backhand cross court for Jody. I really do. I think she should try and get the game over that side. And you mentioned it earlier, Adam, you want to have the top players in the first round if possible. It's not a great <laughs> job, but that's the one time you yeah. have the most chances. Abalenka looked much dodgier in the first round. Looks more solid today. Good return from Boric, just rushing that ball back onto Arena Sabalenka. And this is kind of the best look she's had so far at 15.30. There's been no panic after losing those first three games for Boric. Got away with it, Sabalenka. First one. And it's come at a pretty crucial moment here to give Jody Burridge a chance to get back on serve. I really think those few backhand returns up the line on the deuce side, paying their due right now. Sabalenka felt the pressure, went for more. Got her award, Jody. Can she take it? Big first serve landed, only 110 miles an hour. Favorite serve of her on the ad side, that flat one out wide. to Jody Burridge, she's just making Sabalenka play that extra ball. Oh, keep it, keep it. Oh. And this forehand right here, that was incredible. That was a good shot from Jody with a 
good depth. And Sabalenka just remained very still. You can see how still she remains before she hits the ball and then moves with her body through it. And that gives her that extra bit of penetration through the court when the ball lands on your side. Eventually long some return, wasn't it, from Burridge? Jeez. the negativity she cannot afford to do that the top players are like predators they smell the weakness like blood on their victims <laughs> this is very dangerous here game by a distance for Irina Sabalenka so far. Manages to save the break point. And is one game away from taking this opening set now at 5-2. Sabalenka, she has new balls as well to try and help her through the game. Oh, excuse me, it's uh, Jody Burridge serving to stay in the set at 2-5 with new balls. A few more people just coming through the doors. Pretty cool month for not only Jody Burridge but for a boyfriend as well who is off to France to play in the, the Rugby World Cup. Has rugby hit Germany yet, Andrea? Is that a thing? Not really. No. <laughs> That's your thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love it. <laughs> yeah, Ben White playing for, for Scotland actually, the Rugby World Cup. That is really something I, I think Arena can improve even more her game already near perfect. But you see what she did here. She played the angle, opened the court, and then her powerful strokes really penetrate. Because sometimes when she just keeps hitting hard, 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 her opponents just back out. And they have that much more time to retrieve over and over again. And she just forgets. as well as Sabalenka. She just sometimes forgets to use the entire geometry of the court. And when she does that, we saw what damage she can do at the Australian Open. Such an incredible tournament for her. Played so, so well. Really deserved to win. Better body language from Burridge. Oh, that very 
very nearly became pretty tricky and awkward for Sabalenka. But ultimately, she has set points. Just a Craig Veal there, nice and positive when you get to the line. done the hard bit, it was a great return. really nice from Jody here stayed nice and low Sambalenka likes that hard return through the center of the court to then open with the next shot Burridge just stayed low remained calm She'd make 99 times out of 100. Marina Sabalenka. Three unbelievably good returns in a row there. Did the number two seed. She is human was the call from Jodie Burridge's box there. She's missing. Just trying to keep her nice and positive here. <laughs> Is that shadow annoying to play with Andrea or would players not really even notice that? No, it is very hard yeah. actually. It is very hard, especially coming from the shadow into the sun it's very very hard you have that split second where you lose the ball it's not easy at least it's the same for both players imagine in the next half an hour or so the whole court will be just covered in shade players have been excellent behind their first serves both have just lost the two points behind it and Sabalenka has three more set points Sometimes that's all you can do, just laugh it off. It's just her default system, hit as hard as yeah. possibly can, and there are just some shots in tennis that you have to put a bit of feel to it, just a bit. Yeah. 
So a return is just long. And in the end, Arena Sabalenka does come through, and it was reasonably comfortable, you would say. She broke early. And other than that one service game that she had where she had to save break point, Sabalenka comes through pretty comfortably. Six games to three. And tried to go ahead for the first time. That's a good move forward from Jody Burrage. She only came forward three times in the opening set. She won two of those points as well. So that may be something that she's just got in the back of her mind to try and do a little more. And interesting that she runs around her forehand to use her backhand. Yeah. So we know which ground stroke she's more <laughs> confident in. Few of them just smile. Anything you can do. I think maybe Sabalenka just got that ball high enough to make it a little tricky. Give her the benefit of the doubt. make her move immediately in set two. Okay, felt as though that was an important game for Jodie Burridge, just for her own belief more than anything. She got broken there, you would have just began to fear for her, but that's a nice, nice hole to start us off in the second. Maria Kazakina, second round of Wimbledon and lost at 6 love 6 2. It doesn't surprise me that she has a top 10 win to her name. You can just sense that she likes the big stage, that she enjoys herself out there, and that is also part of being a successful tennis player. You have to love 
the big courts and the big crowds. If you want to do this for a living for a long time, it at least helps. Marina Sabalenka rang you one day, Andrea, and said, uh, I'm looking for a new coach. Would you be interested? If you did say yes, what <laughs> kind of things would you be trying to work on with her? There are two things really. It's her transition game transition game to the net. I do think she could get even more balls out of the air, play drive volleys, and I think she closes the net down really beautifully, but that's something um, that could be even more natural to her to really move up to the net quicker and using the entire geometry of the court. And what I mean by that is, I will explain to you <laughs> after this point. <laughs> for Jody Burridge. Just using the entire geometry, meaning also using the short points in the court. She likes to play deep and powerful through the, through the court, penetrating the court, but she could use those angles, open the court more, and then her shots would be even more, would feel even more powerful on the other side. Frustrated there, Boris. Don't really think she could have done a, a huge amount about that point there. Oh, it's a good leave in the end. <laughs> wow, I thought that was going in. Arena clearly sees the game much better <laughs> than we do here, so. Glad we're not her coach. <laughs> that was a good eye. That back end up the line. And Arena Sabalenka saves one another break point. Six. And levels things up yeah, on game all. I mentioned the start of the year that Sabalenka had. It was absolutely incredible the amount of matches that she was winning just tournament after tournament first tournament of the year won adelaide beat linda noskova in the final then of course won her first grand slam title the australian open then made the final of indian wells where elena rabakina actually got her revenge then made the final in stuttgart on the clay losing to Iga Swiatek. then beat Iga Swiatek in madrid the week after that. 
Fertula. That was the last final she made this year. That was back in early May. A couple of tough losses in the, the slams, Roland Garros and Wimbledon. Two three-setters. She uh, she lost out to Mukova at, in Paris and then Anshabur at Wimbledon. Hope Anshabur is feeling better as well. Oh. Really under the weather, her first round match this week. Backhand. And I really do believe that she or her confidence, Arena's confidence, really took a big hit after that loss to Mukhova at the French Open in the semis. She had already seen herself in those finals. Would have been another match against Iga Świątek after going back and forth with exchanging finals. And just 15 unforced errors. Nice serve here. Gave the match away, really. And yeah, then Mukova beat her again, actually, just before the US Open started in Cincinnati in the semis there. So, again, what Andrea was saying, a player that just has that ability to mix things up and vary the spins, the paces, can just get under Sabalenka's skin. Well, she doesn't look too happy, Jodie Burridge, but she should be. It's been a nice positive start to this second set. She stays ahead to lead 2 1. Asked you if you were Sabalenka's coach earlier, Andrea. Is that something you'd like to go into? Not necessarily coaching Arena Sabalenka, but coaching someone at some point? Or have you just had enough of the travel? mentor some of the young talents for the German Tennis Federation and I do have to say coaching is very very hard I enjoy it is the most rewarding thing you can do it's really so beautiful when you can say something that helps them out on court but it's such an underrated job and I don't think I would be able to do it <laughs> full-time So no one's been in touch as yet to <laughs> ask the question. <laughs>
she just sometimes has those phases where she has a loss of intensity, loss of concentration, spraying a few unforced errors here and there very quickly, and just gets herself into trouble. Yeah, Nogge, I understand that. It means move your feet. <laughs> yeah, back to the basics. Yeah. Some second serve from Marina Sabalenka. It's not coming all that easy, is it, so far in the second set? She had to save the break point in her opening service game, taken to juice there. Look at where she's been serving here. So nearly 65% of the time going out wide on that juice court. Of course, this kind of information is now available to the coaches. And no surprise on that ad court that, again, choosing to go Majority out wide. She could use that body serve more. Jody Burridge likes to stand quite close to the line. Could really jam her. Oh yeah, it's a thing of beauty from Sabalenka. So many of the top players do it so well. Look how quickly she got up to that ball, takes it on the rise. So not only does she take time away by hitting hard, she also takes time away by gaining ground on her opponent inch by inch. It's big. 15. Yeah, that is such a dangerous return, that one through the center. She gets so much depth on it. And it's just so challenging to get the ball back into play without dropping it too short in the court. That one again, Sabalenka at 15.30. Getting Boric to play the extra ball there. 83 mile an hour serve right into that backhand. Ah, just a bit of hesitancy on that one, just didn't look decisive all the way through, hold, held back there, didn't follow through. You can see her landing exactly on the same spot where she hit the ball. And some frustration, but she cannot show that to Arena Sabalenka. Oh my goodness. What a pure return that was from Arena Sabalenka, who's had to save a break point in this set, but her first opportunity to break the Burridge serve she does so emphatically. Sun beating down, just gone half past two in the afternoon here. Sabalenka in control, a set now a break in front. 15 love. Did you ever play Iga? I practiced with her a lot. I never played her in an official match, but I um, 
I felt her the way she plays and how heavy her ground strokes are, so I have an idea. Deep breath, just try and calm down. Still very much in this match here, just a, a single breakdown. Serving numbers have just been brilliant for Arena Sabalenka behind that first serve today. 23 of 25 points that she's won behind it. A perfect 11 out of 11 in set two. And I just wonder whether or not Jody should take a few more steps back behind the baseline on that first serve. You have to make adjustments throughout. And if you can feel that you're just not finding a way through on that first serve, you have to readjust your return positions, and I do think she could take a few steps back, give herself more time, try to find more depth. Oh. I yeah, just lost a bit of clarity here, Barish. That forehand slice, she just, after that one missed forehand, that was very important where she looked a bit hesitant on trying to guide it down the line. Well, win or lose today, she can take so much away from this match, not only this match, but the week here. Yeah, the experience of playing someone like Sabalenka in this enormous stadium. Louis Armstrong, she's in the live WTA rankings at her new career high of, uh, of 85 in the world. Just gives you a glimpse, doesn't it, when you play someone like a Sabalenka, that level that you've got to try and strive towards. And I think this is a very important match for Jody's future because you can just see whenever she just puts the forehand in, tries to make it, Arena takes over right away. Much better on the backhand side, Jody is to just hit the ball, and she can do the same on the forehand side. Don't you, don't you. 
And this is just too much of the negativity showing now. Oh, I kind of feel this is as good as a match point for Arena Sabalenka if she could take this. Good job, actually, in the end. She just had to backpedal. It was maybe a, a late decision to come forward. Sabalenka Only got halfway up the court, but Sabalenka did well with the forehand. And in a couple of moments, will serve for a place in round three. So serving for a place in the third round here, Arena Sabalenka. tell you it will be Clara Burrell of France who the winner will take on she's just beaten Karolina Pliskova in straight sets very comfortably as well just over an hour Jimmy Connors with that kind of round arm smash. Yeah, it just shows you the quality she possesses at the net. That's why I would love to see her up there more often. Take a few swing, swing volleys too and just make things easier for herself. she's come forward today I mean her numbers have been unbelievably good 14 of 16 points that she's won at the net and her seventh ace has given her three match points Sabalenka safely through to the third round here at the US Open. Too good today for Britain's Jody Burridge.